back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special video for you guys, as you guys can see. We're going on a toy hunt, right? We got some epic stuff planned for us. We're going to hit a bunch of locations. Actually going out of town this weekend, so it should be pretty fun. Get some different stores in there. Get to see a different side of things. You know, it's always good when you go out of town to get into those toy hunts because, you know, it's different. It's a different area. You don't know if that area is god-awful or you don't know if that area is amazing. And, you, you know, you won't find out unless you go hit the store. So Walmart's Targets, you know, any other unique toy stores. That's what kind of sucks about my area. You got two Walmarts and, like, one Target. That's it, bro. And that that's that's pretty much it there's no unique toy you know figure shops there's no wrestling figure shops like i see all over the freaking internet there's no really cool spots so we hope to hit at least one like little small toy store on our way there and it should be a really fun one i don't know if i'm gonna do it intro style like vloggy style i'll probably just you know roll right into like the different aisles of the toys and you know i'll, I'll show my toy hunt as we go through there kind of you know just rolling one after the other but hopefully it's awesome you know i'm still looking for some of the legends figures uh, i still want to pick up a bunch of ultimate john Cena's, but all of the targets that I've hit have only been rock figures, man. Only rock figures. Like, no, everywhere I go, there's rocks and rocks and rocks. Five or six rocks, zero Cena's, and then I see other people find six or seven Cena's and no rocks. So I don't know what's up with that. I guess we'll just have to play that by ear. But I'm excited, man. Let's go ahead and get into the toy hunt, find out what we're gonna find, and just shut the hell up and get into it. Alright, guys, first store. Let's see what we got going on right here. Okay. We got some Ultimate Edition John Cena. Thank Christ. Right? It looks like they're actually stacked, though. Look at this. Got the Screaming Head Sculpt in there. Looks pretty damn good. Oh, Chase Chase AEW. Highly doubtful. Riho, Scorpio Sky, Riho, and Frankie Kazarian, the, the shelf warmers. 162 Junkyard Dogs. Only two, it seems. A few basics in here. Another. Oh, my. Always dropping stuff, man. A couple more JYDs. No Chase figure. Poor Chinas. Always here. Always here. Few Romans, not the updated Romans, so they're they're warming it up right here. We got a lot of Ultimate John Cena's though. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like they have seven. We got some Piper in here. All Pipers. Is this all Pipers? Junkyard Dogs. Still no Chase. Still not finding the Chase figure right there. More top picks over here. More top picks. I feel like this top picks wave like shell forms more than any other you know top picks that I've seen. Angel Garza seems to shell form a lot too. We got some John Cena's, Rhea Ripley too. Elite 84 as a whole really kind of, you know, they kind of shell form there. But more Roman. Got another Rey Mysterio right there. So I don't know, man. I may jack all these freaking John Cena's. I'm literally about to buy all these. One, two, three. I'm about to buy six of them probably. What a beautiful figure. Probably my favorite Mattel figure they've ever made. I'm not even I'm not even BSing. Probably my favorite figure they've ever made. But no Chase JYD. We got some Roddy Piper. Looking pretty good. I, I just got this figure from Mattel. Shout out to them. But I, I don't know if I'm going to review it. All right, guys. Here we go. Store number two for us. And a ton of Junkyard Dog. We got Riho twice in the building. Little Miro unmatched action. Another Miro unmatched action. Looking pretty good there. Got Rim Serio, The Miz, Junkyard Dog in the live present. Any Chase figures, any Chase Junkyard Dog. I'm not seeing any. Four red ones right there. We got some more up here. Like, good lord at the Junkyard Dogs, man. That's eight right there. Still no Chase. There's some more. Still no Chase. Little Elite 86 Rollins. Some Roman Reigns. Rey Mysterio. Vega. More Vega. Rhea. Drew. Angel Garza back there in the back. Lots of Rey. Lots of top picks, man. These top picks figures, I swear to God, they're always warming. They're always warming. They're always on the shelf. So they've literally accomplished the goal. Same battle packs we've seen before. We've got more Miro action. We're dropping more figures, as we always do, which is always fantastic. But, you know, not, not a lot of stuff going on right here, man. Not a lot of stuff. Cannot find the Chase Junkyard Dog here. And I'm probably going to hit one more target here just to see, but not a lot going on. Not a lot. Jojo. Can you say hey? Hey. You... Say hey, people. Hey, people. <laughs> I got a monster can you, truck. Can you say, what color is the monster truck? Blue monster truck. Blue monster truck wheels. Uh, what about this one? What color is that? Orange. Orange. Can you give me nooks? Mama fix it. Mama fix it? <laughs> Jojo fix it. Jojo fix it. Okay, put the ladder back on. Good try. He said bye-bye, people. Bye-bye, people. 
All right, guys, here we are at Totally Rad Toy Hauls. I think it is in Nashville, Tennessee, but we got some loose figures over here. Not a huge WWE or wrestling figure selection over here, but they got some interesting stuff over here. We got some basic old Chris Jericho basic. Got some basic Undertaker, a couple AEW figures. We got Santana, and we also have Riho. Of course, Riho's everywhere, right? We gotta have Riho. We have some really cool Jeff Hardys. We got the Legends TNA Jeff Hardy figure. We got some uh, Kevin Nash Deluxe over here. I mean, we got some pretty good stuff going on at this at this store. Like, uh, you, you guys are gonna, I think you're in for a real treat right here. Got some classic stuff going on here. You know, uh, old WCW stuff going on. Little Loose Elites, again, you got John Cena, Dolph Ziggler back there. AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt, a couple Bray Wyatt basics in the wild. I just love seeing stores like this, man. I had to come in here. We were in the area, so I figured I'd take you guys through. Got a little, uh, I think that's the ringside exclusive Jeff Hardy, if I'm not mistaken, the TNA Deluxe, which looks pretty cool. Thought about getting that. I may not get it. We got the, you know, Elite Kofi Kingston going on. We got Trash Corbin, always represented. You know, he's got to be on the pegs, right? Nobody's going to buy him. We got Seth Rollins over here. Got a Mark Henry, Andrade back there. We got some more stuff going on on this side. Got some mock stuff going on, you know, some jacks. We got uh, some really cool ring giants. We got the Boogeyman ring giant. Thought about buying this one, but there's another one over there that I want to show you guys as well. But Becky Lynch, Roman Reigns, you know, WrestleMania Edge. Got Garza over here. Roman Reigns again. More Roman Reigns. Got to keep Roman Reigns on the pegs there. Some more Lucy's down there. More Roman Reigns mock. Got Seth Rollins over here. Bailey. We have Naomi over here, which is cool. We have a Sergeant Slaughter flashback, some some mock basics and stuff. Got some Headbangers two pack. I mean, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Still, I, would, would it not be a toy hunt without you know knocking the figures onto the ground, man? I, I have to knock figures onto the ground. It's just a way of life in here. But you know, we got uh, more more stuff going on with Farouk, Nation of Domination. Really cool stuff in here, man. It's it's all kinds of classic stuff. We got Marvel Legends in here. There's Star Wars toys. Got some different stuff going on for wrestling. Again, not a huge selection, but there are some still things that you may want to check out or, or something like that. They said they get more stuff in here and there, you know, that, that I needed to check back. But check these out. I thought these were insane. Look, look at these right here, man. Custom Jacks Kevin Owens right there, which I thought was insane. We also got some more customs over here. We have Dean Ambrose, which I thought was a pretty good custom. Like, that's a pretty good... That looks like something Jax would have released, man. That straight up looks like something Jax would release. You also got a little finishing moves. Hardy. Uh, you got uh, Seth Rollins custom as well. Got a little painted blonde details in there. Pretty cool. Not a bad custom whatsoever. I think he is missing the back tattoo. Yeah, missing a little back tattoo action, but still really cool. You know, got some painted stuff in here. Just some Lucy's. Nothing too insane, but this person did add the tattoo right there, but... I thought these were pretty cool customs, you know, you got some Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Kevin Owens, really interesting stuff going on down there, but more Jax singlets, we got some, uh, you know, we got the ringside exclusive DX Sean, which Mattel actually re-released, I do believe, so I, I don't know, really cool stuff, I, I always enjoy popping in these little stores and getting to see, like, you know, the different things that they have, you know, you never know what you might find, little deluxe Brian Kendrick. Got some other stuff going on. And this is the Ring Giants. I think I'm going to purchase. I don't know if I'm going to buy it just yet, but the Ring Giants John Cena looks beautiful. But I thought this was a really cool store, man. I mean, you got lots of stuff going on over here. More loose stuff. Got horror figures. I'm probably going to grab this Valak just because I, I thought that, you know, I, I could use this for horror videos and setups and things of that nature. So we'll see about that. But a lot of stuff going on, like Simpsons figures. They even have some more WWE over here that I wanted to show off real quick. We got some ringside exclusive, or no, WWE shop exclusive, I'm sorry. SummerSlam Hardy Boys, pretty cool pack right there. We got the Rated R Edgeheads 3 pack right there, or the 3-in-1 figure that's autographed. You got the Macho Man Legends figure over there, which I thought was a pretty good deal. But I'm not really looking to collect some some mock legends, so I don't know, man. I don't know about all that, but pretty cool, man. They enough. They got they got some pretty cool stuff in here. They even have like some Sheamus stuff on the wall over there. They got a Darby Allen figure autograph. So they got a lot of stuff going on in here. Some pretty cool stuff in here. But I think that pretty much wraps up the store of what I'm going to show off. But uh, I'll see you guys in the room for for the review of what we've gotten here today, man. All right, guys. We have made it back home after the toy hunt, and surprise, surprise, I filmed that intro. After I already, I already made I already made the video, so yeah. But let's get into what we got at the toy hunt. All right, all right, guys. 
We actually found a lot, and some of this stuff I didn't even get to get on video because I didn't film at that store. I, I don't know why. I didn't film at that store, and they actually had a, quite a bit, so I apologize for that. But anyways, guys, let's get into our haul that we got. Let's start off with some of the Legends figures that we picked up first. The first Legends figure that we got was Billy Gunn. Now, I don't know. I don't know if... I got one of these on video or not. I want to say I did, but I probably didn't. But he was one of the ones I was missing from the set. I got the Roddy Piper over there. You guys can't see him off screen. And I think I have finally completed the set, as you guys will see here. But we do have Billy Gunn. Really excited for that. I don't think I reviewed him, so if you guys want to see a review maybe on him, I already opened Piper, mistakenly. But if you guys want to see a review on Junkyard Dog, Kevin Nash, and Billy Gunn, let me know. Speaking of which, we grabbed our Kevin Nash right here. Very beautiful. Solid figure. You know, I like the head sculpt and all that different jazz, but had to get, had to at least get it there. I'm kind of on a mission to get every figure ever, and I figured, you know, these are probably the best times to get these figures, because if we don't get them now, could skyrocket in price, and you really don't want to see that. We also picked up JYD, Junkyard Dog, but not only did we get the red version, Brad. We got the Chase Blue version. So we have both versions of Junkyard Dog. You guys saw. Poor Junkyard Dog is rotting on shelves, man. I actually found one Chase out of all the Junkyards I found. I found like 20 of them on my toy hunt and I finally found a Chase one and I figured again, perfect time to grab it. If I don't grab it, it'll be gone forever. So I had to go ahead and snag it while we could. So we did get JYD and then the Epitoma of the toy hunt is we, we found Ultimate John Cena, right? Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. I, I grabbed six Ultimate Edition John Cena's, man. I grabbed six. I want to say, I don't know this for a fact, but it may be my favorite Mattel figure they've ever made. And so I wanted to go ahead and grab a bunch of them, first of all, because I know they're going to shoot up in price. And I think I want to keep some on ice, but I also wanted to grab some for customs and fix-ups and stuff like that. So that's what we grabbed there. So we got six Ultimate Edition John Cena's. And you guys will also notice I want a giveaway. I want a giveaway for the first Ultimate John Cena. So I figured why not keep this one. I may keep this one on ice. I might open it. For some reason, the more I grow my mock collection, the more I want to keep more in the box. And it's making me want to start an Ultimate Edition mock collection, which is just insane to me. Like now I'm making myself sick. Oh man, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I need a bigger room, Brad. But we got the Ultimate Edition John Cena in the giveaway. We got the six Ultimate Edition John Cenas. We got the Legend Series. And then the last figure that I bought, which is a a little bit too late, honestly, because the month of October is over. But I went ahead and grabbed that nun figure, that Valak. I wanted to go ahead and grab this. I figured that I probably needed it because I wanted to have this for last October. You know, October just passed. I wanted to have it for that whole month, and we didn't have it. So now I have my Valak figure, and all is right in the world. So I went ahead and grabbed the Valak. I know that'll be a great piece there. So I picked up the Valak. So that pretty much wraps up everything we got with the toy hunt, man. Great toy hunt. Really fun to go out of town again to see different stores and get all those different things, man. But I think that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt. Let me know what you would have grabbed. Let me know if you enjoyed the toy hunt and all those different things. Still searching for Chase AEW figures. That's always what I'm looking for. You know, every single store I go in, that's mainly what I'm looking for. And then if I run upon, you know, some stuff like this, I will go ahead and grab it if I want it. So, but that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. And if you guys thought I was kidding, I wasn't kidding. Kidding, Brad. I was not kidding. Six Ultimate Edition John Cena's and the Legends. I have definitely crossed the line. You crossed the line. I've been